Pittsburgh is all a slither about this photo of what turns out to be a black rat snake. That species, just one of hundreds that calls Frick Park home. But despite knowing he's a Yinzer like us, we still had a lot of questions about him. So we turned to University of Pittsburgh professor of ecology, Dr. Corey Richards Zawaki. Where were you? I'm sure you remember when you heard about the Frick Park snake. I heard about the Frick Park snake on Facebook yesterday because I live down the street from another ecologist. It's rare that there's two ecologists on the same street and we're sort of like vying for who's, who's the real street ecologist. And so, um, yeah, so I heard about it from, from my fellow ecologists on the block. That's funny, you guys are duking it out. Yeah. What did you think when you saw the pictures? As someone who is relatively familiar with um, the reptiles and amphibians of the area, I didn't think much of it because I knew that this snake was around. It's the biggest snake in Pennsylvania, um, but it's not uncommon. Um, it is kind of strange to see one up in a tree. Like they, I mean, they are arboreal, but like it's just, we don't often see snakes up in trees. So that's a little different, right? <laughs> Funny to think that you saw that and you thought, duh, obviously. And everyone else in Pittsburgh thought, hold up, cancel the <laughs> go back to bed. How did it get so large? Snakes often will grow, you know, throughout their life. And, you know, the, the, the larger they are, usually the, the older they are. And so this is probably a, you know, well into its adulthood snake that's had the entirety of Frick Park to, to grow and feed on, on uh, rodents and other animals in the park. So the park is a great habitat for him. So he's been able to succeed and, and grow large there. That makes me think of what else is in Frick Park? Who there else are lives? a lot of things in Frick Park. Yeah, I was I was actually doing a little homework on Frick Park before our conversation, and I looked in um, the iNaturalist for Frick Park, and there's over 400 species of of organisms that have been found in Frick Park. So this includes anything from plants to animals, and you know, fungi and micro uh, insects and things like that. So there's a huge diversity of species in Frick Park. Were there any other animals that surprised you to see in Frick Park? Yeah, some things that were on there like beaver, I never would have really thought about, but I guess there are the streams that are down there that, that does make good sense. Uh, I, I read that there's over a hundred species of birds that have been sighted within um, Frick Park, which is great. What do people in your opinion need to know when it comes with being respectful and interacting with the wildlife or maybe not interacting with the wildlife? With snakes, as with most things, I think just, you know, giving them their space, watching them from a distance, you know, being curious is not necessarily a problem as long as you give the animal some space to do what it's doing. And, and you know, you can take a picture, you can, you know, stay and watch for a little bit, but there's no reason to need to touch it or, or you know, get too close. Good to know. Thank you for sharing your expertise and we appreciate your time. Well, thanks for thinking of me.